Hello everyone, welcome back to Cherished Friends. I am doing a box opening today. I'm really excited about that and we have a special guest with us today. This is Finn, my son and his fiance's cat. They went uh, camping this weekend and so I'm looking after Mr. Finney and he and Miss Penny Blossom are having lots of fun playing together so hopefully he won't get too much in the way but this is my box and um look where it's from does it say here gift box oh so i live in canada and we have to order our american girl dolls from indigo chapters and we do have one about an hour's drive from where I live. And I almost bought this doll in store a couple of months ago. And I decided not to because I thought that this doll was going to be around for some time yet. And I may be correct or not, but um, I heard recently that they may be closing down some of the Indigo chapters um, sections where they have the American Girl dolls, the, the American Girl doll section, which is very sad. And I don't want to have to always order my dolls from the US. I normally buy secondhand dolls anyway, but because this is a fairly new release, I wanted to try and get her before our store closed and while I could get her still new and not have to pay all the shipping from the US. So um, can you guess who she is yet? So it's in quite a large box. I almost feel like maybe they gave me an extra doll. Wouldn't that be a nice surprise if you ordered one doll and all of a sudden you open it up and there's two dolls for the price of one or maybe extra treats. I don't think they do that at our store. <laughs> okay, so I don't think this will be too difficult to open, but let's see how this goes. All right, that's my invoice, I guess. Oh, I see, so they've just stuffed the empty space with paper. <gasps> well, that's a little disappointing. No free dolls today. <laughs> Oh, I bet the cats will love to play with this. Oh, Finny Finn, look what I found. Look at all this paper. You want to play? There you go. Go check it out. Go check it out. Oh, I know you want to. Or you're more curious about the box, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Maybe when I get the doll out here. Let me get the doll out first. Then you can have the box, okay? Yep, there's our AG doll box super exciting okay good it's upside down and the cat is going in <laughs> oh my goodness finny uh oh i see an accident waiting to happen here <laughs> all right i might have to put this box on the ground so he doesn't kick it over i'll just pause this for a moment So he's quite pleased with himself. He loves bags. Cats love bags and boxes. And so let us see who we have. You've probably guessed by now. You're probably wondering, you know, thinking, hmm, who are the most current dolls around right now? Well, she's not one of the most recent releases. She's fairly new. And um, a lot of people have said that she's underestimated or undervalued or that's not the right word. She wasn't very well promoted, I think is what I'm trying to say. So, oh, you can see a sneak peek of a couple of dolls I'm gonna be doing a makeover for soon. All right, so let's flip her over and see. I got Claudie. Oh, I haven't seen her yet. This is exciting. I was a little hesitant to get one delivered instead of choosing my own because it's always better to be able to choose it yourself. Oh, this is a bad glare on here. You're not going to be able to see that. Let's see if I can get a better view. Oh my goodness, Claudie. Oh, cute. Okay, I think if we take the, the lid off the box, it's going to be much better. So she's a historical girl, as we all know. 
there's the box. It all looks in uh, good condition. No dents or issues on the box, so that's always good. And so I'm gonna just open this up and see how she looks. This is our first look, everybody. My Claudie. I'm so excited. I've been wanting her for a long time. And, and now my wait is over. So there's her book. Meet Claudie, an American girl by Britt Bennett. Oh, isn't she cute? Oh, that'll be fun to read. I don't have many of the American Girl doll books. I think this is only my third one. I have Caroline's, um, Claudie now, and who's the other one? Oh, Corinne. All of my dolls are secondhand. Sorry about that rustling. That's the cat in the box. All of my dolls are used and thrifted and from eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I only have two brand new dolls from store. That's Corinne and now this girl here, Claudie. And then my Caroline is, I bought her in box, but she was a used doll. So I'm just going to move my little kitty cat to another spot in a second. Let me just have a quick first look at her. <gasps> look at her. She looks really cute. Her little mint green sweater. Now let me just see her dress. Now I know a lot of people had talked about hoping to get one with the uh, stripes, whoops, stripes lining up as I did too, but that's not too bad. I know most of them aren't lined up. You know, it's funny when I was in the store picking one out myself, I did find one that was perfectly lined up, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a close up look at her and see if she has any issues, but we'll get her out of the box. And first I'm just gonna move this kitty cat again. Finny, you really wanna be in on this, don't you? Why don't you go play with Penny? You don't want to? He's a very soft boy. He's a lot younger than my Penny girl. No, I don't want you going in there. Not in that box, sorry. Sorry, mister. <laughs> Not today. Okay, I got her ties all undone and she can move. <laughs> we need to get you out of there, girl. Ooh, aw. It's like she's coming alive. <laughs> hello, Missy. Aren't you a pretty girl? Well, hello. see if I can get her to stand right away. Oh, let's just see. Yeah, her limbs are nice and tight as you would expect with a brand new doll. So she's gonna stand there. She's gorgeous. Love the little blue striped dress. And even though the stripes aren't lined up, I'm actually happy that they're alternating. So it's not really off skew. It looks like it was intentionally supposed to be like that. So. I'm not mad at that. And this little mint sweater is so cute and very soft. And then she's got her little Mary Jane shoes and her socks that we can't see right now. So I'm gonna just apologize for my squeaky floor as I'm walking around here. Wish I could say I lived in a big old mansion, but I don't. <laughs> It is an older complex that I live in, but so the floors do squeak, squeak a little bit here. There's our Claudie. Let's get a close up of her face. She's got pretty brown eyes, kind of a lighter brown almost. Her eye makeup looks pretty. Her eyebrows look good, and she's got the cutest little smile. And her big turquoise bow on the top of her head that matches her sweater. And her blue striped dress with buttons down the front. And her pretty white socks. And her Mary Jane shoes. I'm gonna have to cut these off. Maybe I can just 
There's Finn. <laughs> Hello, Finn. Are you watching us? Are you watching the box opening? Hello, mister. Hello. I'm not doing a very good job of this box opening. I need some practice. <laughs> Here, let's turn her around. Look at her voluminous hair. All up in this hair net. I can't wait to see all her curls. All right, I'm gonna take the things off, the foam off of her. Cute. Now I've heard, and look at these shoes have the Velcro closure. That makes them way easier to get on and off, doesn't it? Oh, now my kitty's gonna have some crunchies. Really, Penny, right now you need to eat your dinner? <laughs> okay, and I just clipped this so I can easily take the ones off of the wrists. There we go. Okay, the last thing we have to do is the hair net. I did notice she had a little bit of dust on her face. Hmm. Maybe she was opened a few times in the store and some dust got on her. That's okay, we can fix that. All right, so it's time for the hair net. Now I know I've I've seen some videos where people have told how difficult it is to get the hair net over this bow. So I think what I'll do is I don't really plan on saving this hair net, so I think I'm just going to clip clip it and pull it through. So I'm going to need both hands for that. So let's see how that goes and I'll come back. There's our cute Claudie. She's all set up there with her box behind her and her book. And I have her accessories set that I bought quite a while ago, actually, in anticipation of getting her. And also her dance set, her tap dancing outfit. Can't remember the name of it. I'll look at it when I get closer. And so I'll just wrestle this hairnet off of her. Okay, that worked really well, just cutting it. I just snipped it along the edges here and I was able to pull the hairnet off of the back and off of the front in two separate pieces. And that worked really well. So I didn't want to fight with it on camera because I've seen too many people trying to unveil on camera and it turns into a disaster. So I thought I would just do it that way and let's fluff out her hair. Wow, look at that. Look at those curls. Oh my goodness, that is so cute, adorable, I love it. She's got little pin curls here too. Aww. I think those are adorable. I know a lot of people don't like pin curls, but I'm an old fashioned girl and I like them. I think they're so sweet. She's beautiful. Hello, welcome home, Claudie. Yeah, oh, I love her. So cute. All right, so let's open up some of her accessories and see how she looks. I didn't have to untie the bow doing it that way, so um, I was happy with that. I mean, I'm actually pretty good at tying bows, but um, I just wanted her to have her original style intact, so that looks really great. This is the accessories set that I purchased quite a while ago for her. And as I said, I have opened it up and lent some of her items to other dolls. Mainly just the hat and the locket. So the first thing that's coming out here is the hat. It's the largest item and look at that. It's kind of like a felt material 
has the American Girl tag in there. Not a huge one, which is nice. And the mint green bow that matches her sweater and the bow on her hair. And so that's the first item in the box. Then we have this little brown and black shoulder bag with a little detail on the front there. Actually, that's a little pocket. You can actually stick your finger in there and it opens with Velcro. And inside we have a Baby Ruth chocolate bar. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried that kind of chocolate bar, but I live in Canada. I don't think we have these here. Um, so does anybody know what they taste like and are they good? And can you send me one? <laughs> and so that's that. And what else do we have here? A little notebook. It says Claudie on it. And I think it's just a blank notebook for writing in. Oh, no. There's a couple of little drawings there of a little dog and some little puppets. And some cakes. Maybe those are cakes that she makes in her bakery. And what else? And there's a little bit of writing in there. It's very small. And then the rest is blank, so you can fill in your own things. So those all fit perfectly in her little, that could be a school bag even, in her chocolate bar for recess. So that's just adorable. And what else is in her accessory set? Well, there's her little, her pamphlet, Claudie. Oh, there's her little dog, Dizzy Dot. I definitely want to get him. I, I wish I had ordered it at the same time, but I forgot. And out of all the pets that I've seen of the American Girls dolls, I think the Dizzy Dot is the cutest. I just love him so much. But they're quite expensive, too, for a little dog, a little stuffy. But look how cute he is. Aww. Going for a walk with her dog at home in Harlem. So there's a little um, brief story about... Body and her dog and the other thing oh yes the locket came in this little bag and so let me just get that from Samantha because she has borrowed it I'll just go grab that now okay so just pretend this was always in this little bag <laughs> that's the locket and I'll just open that up it's so bad for Samantha. This looked really pretty on her. She doesn't have her own locket. But she got to wear it for a while, and my girls share in this house. So look at that. Isn't that the cutest little thing? It has a C on it. A C in cursive for Claudie. And it has this nice little clasp. And let's see if we can get it on her. Curls, it's a bit tricky. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. I'll just turn that around to the back. All right, so Claudie's got her locket. I'll probably tuck it underneath the collar. I usually like to do that, but we'll leave it like that for now. Is her accessories set? We can put her little purse on her shoulder. There's her little booklet. And how about the hat? I don't want to squish her hair, but we will put it on just to. Oh my goodness! Sorry, the cats are playing on the paper again. Oh my goodness! How cute does she look? Oh. She looks like she's all ready to go to school or go go to market, go downtown. So sweet. Yeah, I love her. I'm very happy with her. And I think this kind of hair, the easiest way to care for it is to do nothing. You just leave it alone. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. And it keeps the curls nice. And the other set that I have for her is Claudie's Jazz Performance Outfit. I'm not going to put it on her right now. I'll save that for another video or I may try it on one of the other dolls. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I could put it back on Kit and show you. 
I just don't want to change her right now. She's just all fresh and new. I don't want to leave her in her neat outfit for a while. But we have had this open as well because as I said, I had it on kit and it looked really adorable on her. Oh, well, look at that. The dress actually isn't even in there. I'll have to run upstairs and get that. There's the adorable tap dancing shoes. Silver with a little, I think there's elastic there, so it makes them easy to get on. And little bows and a little bit of a high heel and pretend taps for the shoes for tap dancing. And a beautiful little headband that would go in her hair. Let's just take that off. Now, I think that would be just sort of on the side like that, or maybe on top. And it matches the dress. I'm just going to run upstairs and grab the dress so you can see that too. So I realized you didn't have a very good view there with my camera, so I'm trying to stay out of it. I'm a little bit camera shy. I will show my face at some point, but not quite yet. I just want to get a few more videos made first. And when the time is right, we'll do a little cameo of me. <laughs> so there's our Claudie all dressed up in her meat outfit. And I was just showing you the, the jazz outfit. And so there is the bow, which I was showing. And here is the little dress. And isn't that the cutest thing? It's like a, a wine color or burgundy, kind of a dark purpley satin with three rows of lace along the bottom and a black waistband and matching black ruffles on the cap sleeves and a nice Velcro at the back. It's that nice, the newer Velcro that's a little bit less bumpy and I think maybe less sticky for the hair. So that's just a really cute little outfit, that jazz set. So yeah, there's the dress and the tap shoes and the bow. So yeah, I've got Claudie, I've got her meat accessories and her jazz dance outfit. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna have lots of fun with her, setting her up in scenes and she can meet all the other girls. I think I got a good Claudie. She looks beautiful to me. I'm gonna spend a bit of time with her and uh, get to know her features. And um, I don't see any problems though. Her painting looks good. Her hair is amazing. Her outfit is great. Um, I'm really happy with my Claudie doll. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoy my video, I, I would love to hear from you. You can write me a note in the comments and I'll chat back with you. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. If, if you enjoy, you can do that. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye for now. Finn has found a chess piece on the floor and he's batting it around. Aren't you, buddy? And Penny's watching him. <laughs> okay, and of course they have to do this when I'm trying to do a box opening. to finish this game so that I can finish my video. Hmm?